tornado killed dozens in 2013. Ashley? Elise, thank you. You answer the phone and a stranger says, congratulations, you're a winner. Over the past several weeks, reports of these types of scams have increased in Arkansas. We have Attorney General Leslie Rutledge with us this morning to give us some advice on what to do. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Why do you think we've seen an increase really over the last uh, month or so? Perhaps it's this time of year, as we were discussing earlier, Ashley, that we see these scams about once a year, every so often, where they scammers call or they email pretending to be a publisher's clearinghouse type of sweepstakes. They tell the individual who answers the phone, you've won this large amount of money, but we, we need a processing fee. We need your a $150 processing fee, for example. Give us your bank account information. Give us a prepaid debit card in order to send you $10,000. My simple advice to Arkansans is if you did not enter, you're not going to win. And, all, and so if you receive an unsolicited phone call from someone saying that you've won a large sum of money or a car and they need your contact information, they need your financial information, it probably is too good to be true. A lot of times people forget, did I enter a sweepstakes, right. did I not? So that's, it seems to be that's why a lot of right. people continue to fall for this. Sure. And so if that is the... If you, example and you don't know whether or not you've won, ask to take down their information, call and verify, get that information from them because if you've won something, you don't have to have it immediately. And then if somebody gets one of these calls, you guys want to hear about this as well. What is the information that you are looking from them? Uh, who the caller is, what the information, what the sweepstakes was. Usually it's a, a theme that these scammers use. And so again, we've seen some of the Publishers Clearinghouse claiming to be that organization because so many people have heard of Publishers Clearinghouse. Uh, but if they can get the name of the individual or the company that they're claiming to be, what the prize is, what the information they wanted, it's easier for us to help them track it down. I will say that once they've given money to someone out of the country, it's almost impossible for us to recover that. So it's pretty difficult for you guys to, to be even able to track down who these scammers are, but that's what your office does. That's what your ultimate goal is. Absolutely, and to work with local law enforcement, to work with state law enforcement to, to go after these scam artists. But again, if someone has given their financial information or they've given a prepaid debit card and the money has gone overseas or out of the country, it's almost impossible for us to recover that. And they can visit your website or just give yes. you guys a call, right? They can visit our website at arkansasag.gov or they can call us at one 800 482 8982. If it sounds too good yeah. to be true, probably it is. Absolutely. Leslie Rutledge, thank you so much for thank coming you. today. Greatly appreciate it. We're going to send things.